ahead of the 20th National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, which starts on the 16th of October. Increasing cooperation in trade between China and Africa is opening doors for many companies on the continent. That includes in Kenya, which has become the first African nation to export avocados to China, boosting the economy and benefiting players across the avocado value chain, including farmers. CGTN's Daniel Arab Moy visited an avocado operation in central Kenya and brings us this story. This is Kakuzi Public Limited Company, one of Kenya's listed agribusiness farms in the capital, Nairobi. Workers here are preparing the company's latest consignment of fresh avocados. The avocados are destined to be sold in one of China's largest fresh fruit and vegetable markets, Huizan, in Shanghai. Kakuzi is one of the lucky 15 Kenyan farms that have been granted access to the Chinese market. Chris Flowers is the managing director of the company. This is our first year of exporting and our fruit's been received very, very well. We've got some big consignments arriving very much at the moment and, and for the rest of the next four to five weeks we're going to have quite a lot of fruit going into the Chinese market. And this learning curve is going to be something that, that um, we're, we're walking, essentially, we're walking that journey over the next month or two, and hopefully by next year. If there are challenges or difficulties, they are there, revert, they're ironed out, and we're able to have a very smooth export process. This is the third shipment since the two countries signed an export agreement in January this year. The company has so far exported 210 tons worth of fresh avocados to China. It's here that Kenya's premium avocados are graded, sorted and packaged for shipment to one of the country's most lucrative markets, China. Grace Njero is the technical manager of the company. Njero is optimistic about the Kenya-China trade deal. We hope that this is a market that can be accessed by most farmers in Kenya. It has helped us know where to train our farmers on because we are the lucky ones to have gotten up ahead of them and then to ensure that they also get the knowledge on how to uh, produce good fruit that meets that kind of a market. So it has opened many training opportunities for our local farmers. Jonathan Kipruto is the assistant general manager of the farm. Kipruto says the company believes in maintaining the export standards set by China. I believe that the main thing is ability to meet the quality requirements which are spelled out by the Chinese uh, market and then maintain those standards. That will enable us to continuously supply uh, what we produce to the China uh, market. Trade volume between Kenya and China has risen over the years. From January to July 2022, the total value of Kenya's imports from China was over $4.5 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 25%. The total value of Kenya's exports to China was over $156 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 9.6%. The Chinese market is hugely important for, for Kenya. Um, we've got traditional markets, Europe, Middle East, but the Chinese market really gives us great, great options. As well, it, it complements a lot of the fruit that we produce. So the European Middle East market tends to uh, favour bigger fruit and the Chinese market favours a smaller fruit. So it's a, it's a complementary market. The breakthrough is expected to increase Kenya's foreign exchange earnings and boost the local economy. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.